Hi guys and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're already familiar with my channel. So as you can see I'm in hospital and I am officially a mum of two. So it's day two of being a mum of two and yeah it's the 1st of October, it's Friday, it's around half ten. I'm currently in a room with three other beds however the women that were in those beds have all been discharged apart from myself which is really sad it's so sad to see them all go and then be the only one left behind um i won't go into too much on my delivery because i want to do like a birth story for you guys but to like bring you up to speed i have a baby daughter she's mashallah she's amazing she's beautiful and she's so good to me um, I feel really blessed in terms of myself um, yeah the whole delivery the whole labor was eventful I ended up with a third degree tear and um, a major hemorrhage so yeah as a result I'm having to stay back in hospital a little bit longer so they can monitor me and yeah it turns out that I need another blood transfusion so I'm getting that done tomorrow, um, but hopefully I can go home soon. So here I have got some painkillers and antibiotics and I've got a, a laxative that's gonna help me when I need to do that, that, that poo that I'm so dreading. Um, but yeah, um, I thought I'd jump on and just vlog what my next few days in hospital it's gonna look like you know what else i'm gonna do while i'm here i'm gonna show you everything that i packed that i am absolutely loving okay so first of all let me just take my medication okay so the first thing that i that i've been loving that's made my life easier is this um so i gave birth around 11 p.m and then i had an epidural so i wasn't able to move and then i had a catheter so i wasn't able to Get up and move around as much so i was stuck in bed um i kind of anticipated that might be the case there's been times where my bedside bed side table has been for, it's been pushed back and i've not realized and then i've not been able to access the jug and the cup to drink water and stay hydrated so having this just next to me already stocked up has really helped another thing that i that i'm absolutely living yeah, are all my snacks so they give you breakfast around 8 p.m. Then you get lunch around 12, 1 p.m. Then you get like supper around 5 p.m. And then that's pretty much it. So right now it's half 10 and I'm feeling pretty peckish. So it's nice that I've got like a stash of goodies and I'm just, yeah, it's just making me really happy. Oh my gosh, this has been amazing. So let me show you what I'm dealing with in terms of like pillows. So that I'm, I think I mentioned already previously in my other videos that they're really thin and flimsy. So, yeah, it's really hard to just sleep on that. So I use this. Oh, I just like sleep on it and it's just so comfortable. And also, because I've had a third degree tear, um, initially it was really hard for me to sit down. So I would just sit on this. It was it acted as like my donut pillow. I've ordered one. Um... But in the meantime, I'm using this. And then of course, what else? What else have I used this for? Obviously nursing, when I, when I need some extra support um, to put underneath Asia because the pillows are really thin. They're, they're not that supportive. This has been supportive. So yeah, in general, this pillow has been amazing and I'm so glad that, that I packed it. Nipple cream. Okay, so my breastfeeding journey is the same way it was with Qasim, it, you know, it's, it's a struggle and it's it's hurting and yeah, I'm glad that I've got this because it just, it treats my nipples and just makes sure that they're in the best condition they can be in for their next nursing session. So this, um, and I think that's about it. If I think of anything else, I will let you guys know, but yeah. So it's Friday, it's about half ten, as he's gone down to sleep. I'll bring you guys along with me tomorrow and just like show you what happens in a typical day while you are staying in a hospital in the UK in the maternity ward. So on that note, I am yeah, gonna snack, 
respond to messages and then get some sleep before she wakes up for her next feed. her it's day three of my breastfeeding journey and it's really challenging um that first latch and the first 30 seconds was, was just so painful um i dread it absolutely dread it but then the pain kind of settles and i get used to it and it's fine but yeah that initial latch is like oh. um i don't feel like i have very much milk but I'm persevering because it's reminding me a lot of how it was with Glassa when I started breastfeeding him. You know, initially it was really painful and I felt like there was no milk supply there. But the more I did it, the more I became successful at it. So I'm just gonna ride it through and try my best. But yeah, so what I do is I nurse her for as long as possible, like a minimum of 20 minutes to an hour and a half. And then if I see that she's still hungry, then I will uh, give her a bottle of formula. And so at the moment, she's, yeah, she's getting a combination of the two. But we'll always go for, you know, the boob first and give it a really good try. And after so much time, if she's still hungry, then I will offer her some formula. But yeah, hopefully as my milk supply builds up, I can then reduce the formula and maybe have give her like a bottle a day or maybe two bottles a day i don't know we'll see but yeah um they also measured her today so um part of the procedure is to check mom and to check baby and yeah they wait they checked her weight and she only lost three percent which is amazing um so that's really good news so yeah you know what she does oh. She nurses and then she falls asleep and it's like, oh no, I have to get her to latch back on and I don't want to get her to latch back on. But now I've got to wake her up and get her to get back on the boot. So I can't get her to wake up. There she is. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put her back in her little cot bed. I'm going to try and fit in a nap. And then, yeah, today I'm expecting a blood transfusion. So I'm just waiting for the doctors to come in and put a cannula in my hand and then hopefully that will happen. Um, but yeah. didn't need it I looked really well and that uh, yeah I didn't need the cannula I didn't need the blood uh, transfusion and actually she told me that I could go home and honestly as soon as she said those words I like burst into tears 
um, I, I, I wasn't expected to go home this soon. I mean, I've already been here since Wednesday, but still I thought I had a few more days until they were gonna release me. So I'm so happy that I'm finally going home. Um, so what I'm gonna do is basically start packing up. She's fast asleep, so I might even squeeze in a shower. Um, and yeah, pack up and get ready to go home. Um, she has given me the option to stay a few more hours, which I've accepted because we weren't ex expecting me to go home this soon. So Yas is busy occupying Garsim and he's, he's finished work and yeah, so just gives us a bit more time to get organized. But the good news is I get to go home and I get to see Garsim and I can't wait. We've had to hide from him why I've not been around because he obviously he's not allowed to visit me in hospital. So finally I can like turn up and show my face and give him a hug. And I have missed him so much. And of course introduce him to his sister. I can't wait. Um, I need to set up his little present that Hesia will be given to him from her. So I've got a few bits and bobs to do, but it's nice to know that I don't have to like completely rush. They've allowed me to stay for a few more hours to get myself organized and yeah. So I thought I'd jump on and just update you guys on what is happening. So yeah, finally I'm going home. Uh, I don't know. I don't know.